All right, so if you're headed out, the good news is no rain to deal with, and really temperatures aren't that bad. Yeah, for, I mean, for the uh, end of uh, December and the yeah. start of January, typically lows are down closer to the 20s. And Not we, tonight. Not tonight. And I want to look at our high temperatures over the last nine days. What a temperature swing from uh, nine days ago. We were in the single digits near zero. So we've had both extremes of being below a uh, seasonal average of 38, 37 degrees, and we've been above our average for the past couple of days. Now, today's high temperature of 50 was actually met around midnight, and then that cold front moved through and allowed those temperatures to drop. So we spent the afternoon in the middle 40s. And right now we see those mainly clear skies. However, cloud cover will be building back in. It is 42 degrees, so our temperatures are starting to drop a little bit. But once that cloud cover moves on in, that's going to keep those temperatures from really dropping too much wind are out of the south about five miles per hour. So we have a wind chill of 39, but overall not too bad. It's 41 for you in Columbus as you step out the door in Kokomo 36, 37 in Lafayette. For, for the most part, we'll spend the evening in the 40s for majority of central Indiana and mostly cloudy skies as well. And as we ring in the new year, temperatures will be dipping down into those upper 30s. But really, that's how cold it's going to get this evening. As we look at live Doppler, 30, uh, 13 pretty quiet across Indiana. Majority of the rain due to that cold front is out to our east. However, we are watching this weak disturbance that will kick in a few showers for mainly northern Indiana near Lafayette and for the overnight hours. But for the most part, we're mainly just going to be dealing with those overcast skies and throughout the day tomorrow as well. We are going to see a few breaks of sun uh, breaks in the clouds, allowing some of that sunshine in mainly south of Indianapolis for your New Year's Day. So your forecast, we could see some fog in the morning and we're going to start off in the 40s. Temperatures will be returning back up into the lower 50s once again as we kickstart 2023. Now our rain chances, well, we'll have a break. We had a break today and we're having a break tomorrow. They are going to be increasing as we go into the start of the week. So let's track that out on future track 13. A warm front is going to be lifting north throughout the day on Monday. So our temperatures are actually going to get a little bit warmer and majority for Monday mainly dry. So rain really isn't moving in until we head into the evening hours, mainly overnight, and that's going to continue into Tuesday morning. Now we could see a few rumbles of thunder, but the severe outlook keeps that severe weather chance well to our southwest parts of Texas stretching up into Missouri as well. So we are not in that risk. And then as I mentioned, we are going to be warming up on Tuesday, we could see near record high temperatures. And then once that system moves through, colder air is going to be moving in, but it's going to be near average what we typically expect for the start of January. So our seven day forecast, a high of 52 tomorrow, 57 on Monday with rain moving in later in the day, especially during the evening into the first part of the day on Tuesday with a high of 63. Then behind that system, our temperatures will be falling back down into the 30s as we roll into the end of next week.